you guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is Susanna and I'm so excited to have you guys here today we are going to be deep cleaning my apartment I also want to throw out a little apology I know I did miss an uploading date which is not something that you guys should ever get used to because that is not going to happen again. Long story short, I was out of town. I pre-filmed two videos that were supposed to go up last week. And as I was editing one of them, I realized I just did not like how the filming turned out and I did not want to upload a video that was not going to be of my best effort. So I decided just to nix it. Unfortunately, I did not have my camera to film a new one. So don't expect that to happen very often and it was just kind of a weird thing. So I am so glad to be back with you guys on this lovely Tuesday. So we are about to get into some intense cleaning. I am about to clean some stuff that maybe I have never cleaned in my entire life or maybe I clean them only once a year. This is the stuff that you clean just when you actually think about it. <laughs> if you ever think about it, because some of these things you might not ever think about cleaning. So I'm about to take you guys through some tips and some tricks on how to really get in and clean those areas of your house or your apartment that you never really even think about cleaning. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Again, if you enjoy this video, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. That helps me as a YouTuber grow. So leave comments below. That also helps me grow and I would love to hear y'all's feedback. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, you guys. So the very first thing that I want to do is I want to clean my baseboards. This is something that I do not do very often, yet they get so dirty. The way that I like to do this, is I like to take baby wipes because they're not too harsh on the paint and so I like to use these guys and just take it and just deep clean all those baseboards and I truly cannot remember the last time that I did that so that will just really make my home feel so much cleaner and I'm so excited to do it so I'm going to go ahead and take these these are actually pretty dried out because I haven't done it in a while so I just wet them again so hopefully that'll work just fine I think it will but I'm going to go ahead and do that and show you guys the process yeah as you can see this definitely needed to be done this is literally from just a small section of my baseboards i actually don't think i've ever cleaned these baseboards i usually stick to just cleaning the ones in my bathroom because i feel like those are the ones that get the worst but since i'm spring cleaning today and doing a really good deep clean i thought i would do all and i definitely needed to Y'all, this is like grossly satisfying, but this is just from one part of my bathroom, kind of behind my toilet. And it's really wigging me out that that has just been there. I always feel like I'm pretty good at maintaining a clean home until I really get my bathroom baseboards. Like that is just disgusting. So this is disgustingly satisfying to say the least. Also, while I'm at it and while I'm already in my bathroom, I'm going to go ahead and also take one of these wipes to kind of just wipe down these bathroom cabinets. I feel like especially at the top of my shelves right here get really dusty and gross and so I'm just going to give those a quick little wipe down. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe off my mirror really good. I feel like this is something that I don't do nearly as much as I should. So I'm going to go ahead and start by wiping off my mirror. And then I think I'm going to give my bathtub a really deep clean. And I will show you guys how I'm going to do that. Okay, so to clean my mirror, I really like using a glass cleaner. I also use this on my dining room table because I feel like a normal cleaner kind of leaves it streaky. And I really like just a nice, clean, shiny, almost, well, reflective looking surface. So I'm going to use, this is the Myers Clean Day and um, it's lemon, lemon ver, verbena verbena anyway it's lemon verbena scent and it is a glass cleaner and it does not streak so I really like this let's go ahead and do that mm -hmm. 
Something that I'm going to be utilizing a lot in this video is vinegar and baking soda. Mixed together, this makes a good cleaning solution that also can help de-stinkify stuff. And I'll show you how I do use that in just a little bit. But for my shower, I usually use like a cleaning bleach gel, but I am out of that right now. And so I'm having to make do. So um, I have a little mixture right here. A little bit goes a long way and I'm almost out of it. So I only wanted to use a little bit, but um, this in combination with a good scrubbing brush should really do the trick to get all of that nasty grime and gross stuff off. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So now I'm just going to rinse it all with water and it will be good as new. So a couple last little tips for the bathroom that I won't necessarily show, but I will do in just a second, is to take your bath mat and throw them in the washing machine. They actually hold up really nicely in the washing machine and there's so much hair and just nastiness that collects onto your bath mats that you don't even see over time, especially because my dog stays in my bathroom and gets a little extra dirty. She stays in there whenever I'm gone. So it's very good to wash those bath mats as often as you can, which I need to do more often. I'm also just going to simply wipe off the countertop. A lot of times I'll just give it a quick little clean and I won't take everything off, but this time around I am going to take everything off and give it a nice deep clean. So moving on to the kitchen, a tip that I absolutely love is cleaning my dishwasher. I don't know about you guys, but after time, my dishwasher starts to smell a little funky, which really wakes me out. So what I like to do is I like to take vinegar as well as baking soda and put that at the bottom of my dishwasher and I let it sit and that kind of takes away the nasty smell and all of the built up grime that has been sitting in your dishwasher. So when it comes to deep cleaning, basically what I'm saying is vinegar and baking soda go a long way. Also what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of this mixture and pour it down my sink drain right there. I feel like over time that can get a little smelly as well. And I feel like this just does a good job of kind of cleaning the inside of that. I'm going to do that really quick and then we'll get into the nitty gritty of the cleaning. Another tip that I forgot to mention, it's best to do this whenever your dishwasher is empty so that you can run it on a full cycle without the dishes in it. And that's actually what you're supposed to do after you let it sit. But for me, I get lazy and honestly, a lot of times I will just run it even if I have dishes in there and then I'll just run it again with normal soap. So we're going to let that sit for a little bit. The next thing that I really want to do is to wipe down all of the faces of my appliances such as my microwave, my oven, my refrigerator. I will say, usually when I'm deep cleaning, I also like to wipe down the wooden cabinets, but I actually did that last week, so I'm not going to do that again. But as far as the appliances go, I'm going to give those a good wipe down. weird one but I want to wipe down at least the outside of my trash can with again these little wipes because that is something that I'm pretty sure no one really ever does and the trash can is obviously not the cleanest thing in the entire world so um, so 
something that's probably important to do every now and then is just to do a little wipe down of the outside. I also want to go around the house with these wipes and just wipe down all of the door handles. That is something that I don't think I have ever done. And especially with what's going on right now, I think that that's very important to do. And no telling what bacteria and nastiness is on those door handles because they are never cleaned. So I'm going to go ahead and do a nice little wipe down of both of those things. So now what I want to do is I want to clean my windows because honestly this is something that I never do and I'm trying to focus on things that I never really do in this cleaning video. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I actually cannot remember the last time that I did this. So let's wipe down those windows and see how dirty they actually were. <laughs> That is a dirty rag right there. That definitely needed to be done, so I'm glad that I did it. A couple last little tips for cleaning your home and making it feel nice and fresh is make sure you dust. This is also something that I have done recently, so I'm not going to do it again. But dusting is very important, and I don't think that you can really realize how much dust is on surfaces until you get a rag and just wipe them off and look at it because it can be kind of scary sometimes. Another deep cleaning tip is to to remove all of the pillows from your couch and to vacuum what is underneath because that is something that we never really do but all kinds of nastiness can get underneath those cushions and that's not good. Another really good deep cleaning tip that I have heard of but I have actually not tried but I'm out of vinegar so I can't really try it but I'm wanting to at some point is to get a plastic bag fill it up with vinegar and put it around the nozzle of your sink where all of that grime builds up. And while it sits in that vinegar, it really gets all that grime and nastiness off. So that is another really good way to clean kind of the nozzle of your sinks. Last but not least, this isn't necessarily a deep cleaning tip, but make sure you are consistently vacuuming your house or your apartment, wherever you live. Honestly, I do this probably twice a week. So much dirt, dog hair, everything can get tracked into the house and you don't see it until you see it inside of your vacuum cleaner. So that is definitely something that is good to do. Not yearly, but I would definitely say weekly. So that will make a big difference in the cleanliness of your home. So that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any videos that you would like me to do, go ahead and let me know in the comment section below. I would love to cater my content towards you guys. So again, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and hit that thumbs up. I upload a new video every Tuesday and Friday. Bye guys.